Today in this technical corner, we're gonna be talking about aerospace machining, but specifically titanium. Lee, um, when it comes to aircraft, there is lots of parts on there that are made from titanium. Give us an example of what they would be and the challenges that manufacturers face that are machining them, because it's not the easiest, is it? Well, you say it's not. If you go about it the right way, then it is relatively easy. So you, you, you could start with small brackets, if you like, small titanium brackets, maybe moving up to, to components like pylons and pintles up to flap tracks and, and, and even bigger parts as well. And why would they make those parts out of titanium? It's all, it's all about the strength to weight ratio of titanium. So it's, 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 uh, the, the, these components tend to go in, in critical components, uh, critical parts of the, the, the aircraft, may, maybe the interface between the landing gear and the wing, say, for example, or where the wings uh, are attached to the fuselage. And what would be the challenges of making those components then? Because I can think of a few off the top of my head. I'm thinking, you know, tool life, tool wear. I'm thinking vibration, chatter, surface finishes, all of these things that when you're cutting something like titanium, you've got to, um, you've got to try and avoid or reduce. They're all those things. And, and a titanium component will typically come from a, either a forging or, or a plate. So even from a forging, there's, there's quite a lot of stock left on. So there's a skin to break through. There's, there's maybe 10 to 20 millimeters of material to remove even more for obviously from a plate. Typically po pocketed, often deep pocketed, so long tools. And, and, it, and, and it's a, a machine that requires a lot of power to cut. It's, it's, it is a difficult to cut material, but approached the right way, it's not a difficult challenge. And the machines that you supply at the Starag Group, what would be the machines that are perfect for this type of machining, titanium machining within the aerospace sector? Well, we, we've, and why? We, we've got two, two distinctive, well, three distinctive ranges really, from small, medium to, to, to large, and, and they're all designed with titanium type materials in mind. So the machines are designed so that the the stiffness and, and the dampening characteristics of the machine match the materials that you're going to cut. Working back from the tool, the spindles are designed in terms of the power torque stiffness, again, to, to cope with the, with, with the forces and the resonance that, that, we, that we expect to see from, from titanium, the coolant systems, the swarf systems and everything specifically for these material groups. And when you look at the machines, and what are the Starag Group doing different within their technology, within the, the build of their machines to ensure you get the results that you're talking about. Well, I think what's, what's different with Starag is the, the primary focus on the design of these machines comes from this industry. So we look at the materials we're going to cut, in this case, titanium. We build a machine specifically around that material group. It happens to be very good for other stuff as well then. But if you have a machine that's more general purpose and go onto the titanium market, they struggle. Whereas we, we, we design machines around these materials. So very, very stiff very, very good dampening characteristics for the kind of frequencies that we get back when we cut in these materials. Very long tool life, because your carbide burn cost is, 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 is very high Massive for these kind of materials. Yeah. So our machines are specifically designed for this market. And then the, the, one of the new models is the STC 1250HD, isn't it? Um, which has got some quite serious innovation within it to do exactly that. Yeah, exactly that. So, so it, it's, it's been designed with a special hydrostatic system that um, has additional dampening characteristics, but also quite a bit of increased stiffness. So specifically for roughing of medium-sized titanium parts, we think we can in improve overall cycle times by about 30 odd percent. Okay, 30 odd percent. So uh, if you're interested in titanium machining on or within the aerospace sector, in fact, any sector, then the Starag Group do have um, ideal platforms to be able to do it very successfully quickly and most importantly reliably over long periods of time because that's critical isn't it for sure and, the, and these, these these products last for decades 